Hey guys, Abby here, and uh, as you can see, I am playing Skyrim. Steam had a fantastic deal to celebrate the launch of the modding pack and all that jazz. Frame rate just dropped there a minute. Uh, so I went ahead and bought it for $40. As you can see, it does look a lot better on the PC. This is with mods, of course. I am playing with an Xbox 360 controller. It's actually a nice function. Um, instead of using something like x Patter, you can literally plug your 360 controller directly into your PC, and Skyrim has an option for your 360 controller. Just activate it, and all the hotkeys will swap over to the 360 version. So it's really nice. Um, the only issue I'm having is my graphics card is not super awesome. <laughs> uh, it does the job for MMOs and stuff, but to do a game like this, kind of a jump up, kind of a big deal. So I did try a ton of high-res texture packs, but I just couldn't handle it. Um, the ones I ended up having to turn off, I tried realistic water textures, which was just too much for my system to handle, as well as the complete Skyrim HD textures pack which again was just too much for me to handle so I'm just doing the basic steam uh, Bethesda HD textures pack and I did change a few as you notice the lighting is extremely well done I did keep realistic lighting and customization so the light will bounce off and shadows and stuff will be a little more open you can see the light looks a lot better um, I do have HD tables textures and wood so all of the wood is HD'd over in a mod. Uh, but most of the mods I did actually are just kind of basic things that I guess if you guys saw me ever play Xbox Skyrim, you would realize the difference in. Um, so one, I swapped my character to a female just to show you guys, uh, is the blotchiness of the body and nose. And you can see, oh, let me get in some light here. You can see that's entirely gone. Um, so all the blotchiness and pixelation, there's still a little bit in the shadows, but that's just because I don't have the ability to run this on Ultra. This is on high quality right now. Still looks better in the Xbox, but you can see I'm what? I think I'm at like 34 frames per second right now out in the open. But you can see that it looks a lot smoother and a lot cleaner with some of these mods that I've put in the game, as well as the hair. The hair looks a little more realistic with a few mods there because it adds some strips and loose pieces. So it looks a lot better. Uh, the lighting, again, ton better. Um, and you can see here the smoke and stuff. It's not like a big thing, but I mean, I did it. Um, I also redid the sky. So the sky is HD'd, and you also have sun glare now, too, which is actually really cool. It's a simple mod, but definitely one that I enjoyed. Uh, on top of these, you know, everyone's like, oh, why did you end up buying Skyrim again? It's because I can mod it. And I love modding this. I'm actually planning on getting a new graphics card very soon, so it'll be great to do that. And with the Xbox 360 controller integration, I'm actually surprised I didn't do it before. Um, I think the only big thing that kills me is sometimes my FPS will drop. That's just that's just it. I mean, that's the only thing. And you can see, even without the HD water textures, it still looks a lot better than the 360s and the PS3 version. Um, so you can definitely see a lot of this stuff. Also, if you look at the uh, characters, the NPC characters, clothes and stuff, they... I know I'm sick, I have a disease. But if you look at the NPCs, clothes and stuff... A lot less pixelated and a lot cleaner, so you can see all that. But there's tons of mods you can go, you can go forever. They're on Steam, they're on um, Outer Nexus. I'm gonna heal myself here. Now, one thing also, I don't know if you've noticed, but everything looks brighter, right? Everything looks more colorful. And this is the one thing that I did miss about Oblivion, is the fact that it's not as colorful in Skyrim, right? The water doesn't look too blue, it's kind of bland. Um, but there was a mod that fixes this, it's FXX color integration or something like that. And that is what I use, and you can tell it looks a lot more colorful, a lot more vibrant, a lot more real, you know? 
but there's texture packs to redo all of this. I mean, you can see the, the grass doesn't look too happening from up here. There's texture packs for that, for the tree. I mean, it's nuts what they have for these kind of things. This is the max my system can run right now, and I'm, I'm just happy with that. The realistic lighting mod really shows on the inside, especially in caverns and stuff, as it makes the torches more useful because lighting is a big deal. You'll also see uh, candle flickers, different lighting movements and stuff, which is, it's really nice. There's also tons of crafting mods. One of the big ones that I got was uh, Weapons of the Third Era, as well as it's j socks or j -Sys, excuse me. You see the lighting there, how it echoes in and comes through the windows. The windows are retextured, that is an HD pack, but j Swords actually makes a ton of weapons and items craftable, which is really cool. You can now make katanas for glass, you can make scimitars, um, arrows can be made from bird feathers and ingots, as well as firewood, right? But there's, there's just tons of stuff. One of the cool things that a lot of people like normally skip over that I actually got a kick out of is, buddy mine was like, hey, you should uh, check these out, and he gave me a list, and I was going down, and there was one that was, what was it called, I have it over here, uh, TKO 007's skill uh, interface redo, uh, retexture, I was like, okay, come on, who's going to make the skill interface look extremely pretty, and like, I'm going to judge it or whatever, I mean, who's going to do that, who's going to be able to do that, uh, this guy, if you look at the skill interface, this is with the textures, yeah, looks really pretty. He added many more stars in the back, many more, as you can see. And you look at the constellations, and they're actually made out of stars now when they hi they're highlighted. So it looks a little more realistic. And, of course, the color flows now a lot better. When you actually pick something, too, there's more lineage there. You see the lines, you know, um, and more stuff in between the two. So it's actually really really nice what this guy did I was impressed uh, but this is just a little th little things like this like this is a huge mod just to retexture this but if you do a lot of them it it really starts to add up if that makes sense and I think that's a big thing for me this is a map mod right now if you guys know in Skyrim originally you don't see roads which is a little frustrating because I didn't know if I could like go through I remember here I was trying to get to the Greybeards, and I didn't know if I could go through here, so I ended up going all the way around. Well, you can see this is a map retexture mod. It's a quality world map with roads, is what the mod's called. So it basically high reses the map, uh, keeps the clouds, and then it lets you zoom in further, and it adds every main road and every kind of secondhand road between all the towns and stuff, so you know where you're going. Especially in the mountains, it helps big time when you're trying to find like the Shrine of Marin's Dagon and a few things. Like I said, I just got this, so that's why you see no locations discovered. But it's it's nice to have little things like this. And as you see, the color just looks beautiful. It looks so much better than the vanilla. I'm actually going to show you guys the uh, crafting interface and stuff that I tagged in on here. And occasionally you will see there's a couple FPS drops. That's just my computer being my computer. It happens. Um, this is probably one of the highest res games besides Crisis 2 that this graphics card has run. So, you know, I gotta bear with it. But I do have the ATI Radon 57000, so it's a nice card, but I might upgrade it a little bit. CC here, Blacksmith Forge. Um, the hide, right? Branded iron. Now you see barbarian armor. This is from a lore friendly pack that gives you access to ranger armor and all these cool things that kind of fit with Skyrim lore. I'll have to do a video on those later. Barbarian boots, gauntlets, helmet. Um, but you can see here, iron club, right? What these weapon packs do is they add numerous new weapons that kind of fit the lore. And they may not seem like much, but they definitely add to the game. I got super excited when I did like my first instance, right? My first dungeon crawl. And this guy came at me with two iron clubs. He's like, oh, I've never seen those before. And I played like 100 hour, 150 hours of Skyrim on my Xbox, you know? Um, so there's the iron club. Uh, what else is in here? The katana. There's an iron katana right there. 
Uh, Nodachi, which is a two-handed sword. Tanto, dagger. Wakazi, dagger. Curved dagger. Um, tamper wooden battle staffs. Yeah, they're like two-handed monk staffs. They're awesome. Uh, wooden battle staff, same thing, just for mages. And wooden club. And you can see it adds functionality to the firewood part of it. Now, another thing that people were like, uh, the studded steel, you can actually make Akavari katanas and blades of woes that are unenchanted. Uh, leather armor. This is cool. This is the black sacrament piece. So, this is like perfect for assassins and stuff. And I'll have to do a video on this after I get it because I'm not one for console commanding my way through things. Um, but you see, this is made for the Dark Brotherhood, and it's like the top-notch Dark Brotherhood armor, so to speak. The, uh, name of the mod, let's see, I have it on the list over here, is, it's a Nightingale Retex Black Sacrament. Um, so the amulet, you see they require human hearts, which are pretty cool. But you have, they're, they're beautifully done, they actually have a cloak, a face mask, a cowl. I have beautifully done pieces, and of course you can enchant the hell out of them. The cape that hangs like half, it's like Ezio, it's so awesome. And then the veil right there. Um, more sty, I think, and then Mystic. This is a mod that was big for me. It is literally just called Craftable Arrows. Um, I hated this in Skyrim. I could make everything but arrows, and I play an archer. So I was like, okay, well this uh, kind of sucks. But yeah play an archer and now you can make arrows out of feathers firewoods and ingots of your choice so it's it's really handy to do that there's another retexture right there you see the sparks actually coming out and stuff but it's pretty nice Got some good pieces out really well done More inside. many of the NPCs too their clothes have been redone and stuff which is nice do you get to the cloud district very often You'd walk up to some of these people and it'd be pixelated. You'd just be like, what? I, why do I look so good, but they don't look good at all? So, yeah. There's one final look at my character. I actually love the eyes. I had those on my mail, too. And I'll uh, probably change it back for future videos. I just wanted to show off the uh, female face blotchy thing. But I love those eyes. Those are actually from a character enhancement pack. Xenia's character enhancement. And they're the wolf eyes, which are super sweet. Um, but there's, there's tons of stuff you can do. And one big thing that I was asked by a bunch of my friends is like, can you still console command if you use Xbox stuff? Yes. Your Xbox controller functions, but look, console commands. Pull it up right now. So it's really nice, especially for people like me who like to change their race every now and then, and that way I don't have to re-roll a ton of characters. Um, but mods are great. Mods are awesome. I, I don't plan on doing any super awesome mod videos or anything. But I do plan on doing some mod stuff in the future. If you guys want me to do mod videos, I would be happy to. Just know that I'm probably not going to do a lot of texture stuff because of the fact I that I work with my mother and sell fruits and vet. No. Chick, leave me alone. Um, <laughs> but I, I will do armor packs and weapon packs and all this other stuff. If you guys want me to, please comment. Uh, see that. I'm going to try to live stream Skyrim. I just don't know if I can handle it. If I can, I'd love to, because I love Skyrim. I play it so much more than Star Wars, uh, even on my college schedule and stuff. So I'd love to just stream some, some Skyrim, but we'll have to see what works and what doesn't. Anyway, though, I just want to give you guys this little video as something for this week, a little teaser thing, because I do have a fairly busy weekend coming up. So this is just Skyrim. I've bought it. This is what it looks like, all HD'd out. Um, not even ultra quality. So this is the second highest quality with barely any retexture mods, uh, just for FPS limits and stuff. But yeah, so hope you enjoy this, guys. And again, if you want me to do some Skyrim videos, uh, let me know. I I'd, I'd love to do some, but these videos do take a while for me to do. I'm not like some super advanced guy with all these crazy tech pieces, um, even though I do have a three-screen computer. But uh, if you just want me to do like a specific mod, or you can just be like, hey, what are some cool armor mods? And no, no, no. And yeah, I'd be happy to do those. The one thing I do, ref I will refuse to do though, I mean, you can see with this, some of this female stuff, yes, I do download some female stuff. Like this walk animation is actually a different walk animation. It's called the catwalk. But it just gives the females a different side of things. They, they're their own kind of walk instead of walking like men. So it applies to all the NPCs. So it gives them a more feminine look. 
I will download female stuff like that, but for all those people who are doing like nude mods and stuff, come on. Uh, I, if you want me to cover nude mods or like crazy sexy armor, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm a role playing guy in these games. I prefer the games the way they are. I just like some of these armors and stuff to kind of keep me going after a while. I work with my mom. Oh my gosh, that chick needs to go away. I, I'm not going to do nude mods. I'm not going to do skimpy armor mods and stuff. No, I, I'm sorry guys. You're going to have to look somewhere else for that, but I, I'm not going to do that stuff. That's not why I game. <laughs> I don't intend on gaming. For that purpose, I game to enjoy it, not to look at scantily clad women running around with a bunch of modded gear uh, when, you know, I'd rather go out into the world and meet real women and stuff. But hey, you know, to each his own. But just a heads up, I'm probably not going to be doing any videos like that because, yeah, it's just, just too much. Anyway, though, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this, like I said, and if you have any ideas or anything you want me to do, feel free. I'd love to hear them, uh, and if I get enough support from them, I'd love to do a few Skyrim Monic videos, uh, especially a tutorial. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I blab a lot, I know, and then, like, I'm almost done, and then I want to go finish again and finish again. It's ridiculous. I just talk too much. Um, but enjoy guys, I'm going to go back to playing some Skyrim before I hit the hay for my class tomorrow and look for some future Skyrim videos and possibly a live stream of Skyrim this Friday and Saturday evening. Did Take it easy guys.